हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एज यू पीपल मस्ट बी नोइंग दैट इन माय प्लेलिस्ट ऑफ गेट प्रीवियसली आक्स क्वेश्चंस यूजीसी नेट प्रीवियसली आक्स क्वेश्चंस व्हाट आई एम डूइंग इज आई एम रिफरिंग सम ऑफ द प्रीवियस आक्स क्वेश्चंस एंड व्हाट एवर कॉन्सेप्ट्स और टॉपिक्स आर रिपीटेडली आक्सड इन सच कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम्स आई एम गैदरिंग दोज क्वेश्चंस आई एम एंड आई एम मेकिंग द वीडियोस ऑन सच ट्ricky क्वेश्चंस so that you will be getting those things at a place for the specially for the students or for the people who are um, doing last last minute preparation right we are um, sitting to prepare for exam before a month or before couple of months so these things are important the little tricky questions or the simple topics that are asked in a quite complicated way i am gathering those questions and we are trying to solve it here so that it will be helpful to you if you are preparing for such exams so i would like to tell you to subscribe the channel so that any time if i am and if i am uploading if i am coming across any such questions and i am uploading it you will be getting the notification and i would also like to um, tell you to share the same with your friends or with your colleagues with your senior seniors juniors whoever are there whoever are preparing for gate ugc net uh, isro or any such competitive exams fine so it will be helpful for everyone okay so let's get started what we are doing in this video i have taken one question this question is asked in gate only it is a question of data structures what the question is one small programming code is given here this is my main function inside main function what is there two integers are there i and a and here you can see one structure we are having nested printf's and scanf's see we are having nested printf's and scanf's fine it is actually very uh, important and most of the people are doing it wrong because this is not something that we are using in our day to day programming right because basically or frequently we are not using nested printf's and scanf's so in order to solve such examples you should know how to do these things how the printed how the nested printf works how the nested scanf works how we will do it is so it is just that if you know that thing you can easily solve this example so first of all see printf what we are printing percentage d that means what percentage d is there that means what one integer will be printed now with which integer again inside we are having one printf in which we are doing print percentage d so obviously first of all we are encountered with this printf where we are having print so obviously this print will be printed as it is so this print will be printed and percentage d we don't know what will happen in this percentage d so let's move forward what will happen what will be replaced in this percentage d uh, scanf percentage d percentage d and this so how it will work this means what this whole scanf's result will come as an integer here in percentage d so you must be knowing that how it works right how it works whenever we are printing the scanf what it will print it will print integer now which integer it will print the number of integers or the number of characters whatever will be scanned by the scanf you are getting the number of integers or characters that will be scanned with the help of this scanf that number will come here that means what in this scanf here inside this scanf i and a are the two integers that we are scanning with the help of these two integers so the numbers are 1 and 2 you are getting we just have to write the count only that count will be displayed in this percentage d so in my this case i and a are the two integers that uh, that are being scanned so here the count will come as 2 1 and 2 so this percentage d will print 2 fine print and space this is printed as it is print and one space in place of percentage d this 2 will come so this is we are getting print 2 up to these two means for my this printf and scanf in place of this whole i am getting print 2 now what one thing is remaining this printf what we are doing with this printf first of all this printf is printing one integer by percentage d and inside what we are having we have already evaluated this thing so in place of this thing i am having what print space 2 now how it works if i am having printf 
I am printing one integer that is percentage D and inside whatever it is there what it will print it will print the total number of characters inside it and so here if I find out the total number of characters it will be what 1 2 3 4 5 6 this space I have to count the space also you have to remember that and then this 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so total 7 characters are printed inside this so in the outside percentage D of this printf it will count the number of characters and it will print here so the output I will get is print to 7 fine this is the output that my this code is giving Many students will write it as it will give error, we cannot write like this, we cannot write printf inside printf, we cannot write scanf inside printf, many will write it as a compilation error, many will write it as warning but no, it will be executed properly and it will give us the output as printf27. So this thing you must be knowing that printf will, if there is scanf, what printf will print? Printf will print the total number of characters or integers that will be scanned by that scanf and if there is multiple printf then the outer printf will count the total number of characters that have already printed and it will print those number of characters so here this print and this space percentage d is for this i and 2 that i and a that is 2 and for this whole 7 characters this percentage d will print 7 so overall i will get print 27 as my output thank you